Morning everyone, Dr. Eric, your fitness physician and peptide doc here for a uh, quick uh, summary on goal setting and uh, breaking in the new year. You know, welcome to 2020. Can't believe it's another another year, another uh, century. Uh, or I guess we're in a new century, but I just want to, um, we've been seeing a lot of posts about, you know, bring in the new year, how to start the new year off on a good foot. Um, a lot of things you, you start out doing on that first day, you know, I heard some myths and rumors, you know, that whatever you do that first day, of the new year, January 1st, 2020 is, is going to be how the rest of the year is going to be. So, um, you know, just kind of fun things like that. But I think it's always good. You know, there's a lot of people making New Year's resolutions and trying to get the off to a, a good start. And statistically, of course, New Year's resolutions, most of them fail. Most people don't do them, right? So I think it's important to have goals and to shoot for them continually every day, not just on, in the beginning of the year. So uh, that's what I wanted to do, just talk about 2020, how to get how to get a jump start. I think it's important just to set goals and just to stick with them every single year. So I'm going to run through just a couple a uh, couple quick tips people you know we were just talking about the, the other day about how things to do for the year things of this nature so just my quick thoughts um, uh, about things and again number one is just set the goals um, you know the, the people talk about smart goals right smart you know specific measurable action oriented results uh, oriented and time specific uh, so basically and I do this every morning I, I got a made a little a little piece of paper and Try to do it every single day, once in the morning, once in the evening. You know, write down, uh, think about things that you're grateful for, and then write down your goals. And they should be specific. They should be present tense and very um, specific in terms of time and action. In other words, you know, by January uh, 1st, 2024, I will have you know five million dollars uh, in the bank. You know, I will be debt free. Whatever that, you know, whatever your goals are, write them down. Present tense, action oriented, very specific to time uh, and to outcome. Uh, write them down. There's something about physically writing things down that. And help your, your body connect and your mind connect them and gets your subconscious moving. This is a whole other conversation, right? If you read Think and Grow Rich, this is big on this. A lot of the success books uh, talk about this. But write them down, or at least read them or write them down every day, at least once a day, preferably twice a day. Make them specific. Don't just say, I'm going to lose weight. I will lose uh, 10 pounds of fat by January uh, 30th, 2021. Uh, whatever that may be, you know, whatever goal that is. Break down your, into different things, career, business, finance, health. Uh, relationships, social, and then write down some specific things in each. Make 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 break down categories, and then just focus on one at a time. Brian Tracy talks about focusing hitting one goal and starting a new habit. Focus on one habit a month, and then every single month you're starting a new habit, and it will continue and roll. You know, if you continue that new habit for thirty you know thirty days or so, that's going to stick. Um, so you're going to replace your old habits with better habits. But again, write things down, set them, make them specific, and make yourself accountable, you know, and then reward yourself for them too. I'll do another video later on, um, on goals, but I just want to throw that there real quickly. Second one, I want to focus on the mental game. I'm big on the mental game. I've talked about that in other videos. I'm going to do some future videos in, as well, uh, specific to fitness, also to health and lifestyle. This comes in with meditation, uh, mindfulness, visualization, um, and things of this nature. Uh, Letting your meditation is big for just reducing stress, relaxing, uh, helping you to recover, uh, visualization, meditation, focus, mindfulness, awareness. These can all come into play and help and massively improve your health, your fitness. Uh, I'll do some videos in the future about how I talked about you know mindfulness on your workouts and fitness and how you can just using uh, auto suggesting visualization and, um, and even anchoring that you can improve your fitness, you can improve your workouts just by doing something mentally. It's amazing if you do a certain mantra, do a certain thing, which I'll, I'll show you. Um, you can actually feel yourself getting stronger and do a better or work out, a better lift, a better run, whatever that may be. So uh, you want to focus on the mental game. It's the mind and body work together. What you what, what occurs on the inside, uh, what manifests on the inside, manifests on the outside. So think it and then act on it. You think, I feel good, I feel happy, I am, I am satisfied. Uh, you're going to be happy and satisfied. If you feel, think, I am strong, I'm full of energy, you're going to be full of energy. Um, you know, I'm a giving person, you're going to be getting, you know, Try to make those uh, sync up, so that's big. You know, focus on your mental aspect. Don't just don't ignore that. Number three kind of ties in with that is you know, rest and recovery. Too many of us are just go 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 all the time, and uh, overtraining is a big thing. Uh, you can push yourself too hard. So give yourself time to rest and recover. Just do three. You know, if you're doing three full body workouts a week with a day in between, perfect. You know, throw in a little bit of light cardio, perfect. But don't be slamming it. You know, crossfitting. You know. You know, five sets of ten on every every body part, five days a week, four days a week, all in a row. You know, you're, you're going to run yourself ragged. You're going to, especially uh, for people that I'm that I'm seeing every day, uh, people that are you know 40, 50, 60 years old. And, you know, you definitely got to give yourself body more time to recover. We're, unfortunately, we're not 16 anymore. We, we got to recover. Even even teenagers need a break. Um, you know, athletes even in the high school and college years need can overtrain for sure. So make sure you're getting adequate time to rest and recover. If you're feeling strong, you're feeling motivated, you're leaving feeling like you could have done more. That's perfect. You should leave the gym feeling energized. Not run out, not uh, I'm dead. 
if you're losing that motivation, if you're more sore than usual, more tired than usual, you're losing that zest, you don't want to go to the gym, your, your workouts are suffering, um, that's a sign that you're overtraining. So rest and recover. Give yourself time to, uh, time to rest. You know, just walk. Do yoga. Don't do anything. Um, take a back off week every three, four, five weeks or so. You know, lower the weights or just do something completely different. Recovery is huge. You know, things like sauna, walking, uh, Epsom salt baths, uh, massages, um, you know, just uh, kind of chilling in mind, meditation and mindfulness. Uh, there's a ton of recovery techniques out there, but the biggest thing is let's not let's focus on the rest and recovery. That's when we build. That's when our bodies build. Uh, we tear down. Of course, when we're working out, you want to build it up. Number four, focus on strength training. You know, I'm big on muscle. Muscle is the biggest endocrine organ in the body. If you see my videos on peptides and hormones, it, we're, unfortunately, as we age, we, we're at risk for sarcopenia, which can puts us at risk for falls and injuries. And muscles are very important, not just for stability, but they secrete a lot of myokines and chemicals and other things that can actually promote health, lower inflammation, improve body composition, over, improve overall health and longevity. So we have to take care of the muscle. It's a massively important endocrine organ. So. Uh, focus on strength training. It's not just worry about our abs or just running on the treadmill for hours and hours every day. That's catabolic. We want to balance the anabolism and catabolism. So focus on strength things. I wrote SPC, strength, power, and conditioning. Stro focus on those things. Everything else will fall into line. Yes, throw in some, as I mentioned earlier, throw in some yoga workouts, some balance techniques, uh, some rest and recovery. But the biggest thing is focusing on the muscle. Build that muscle up. Everything else will take care of itself. Let's focus on building up the muscle and the fat will take care of itself. I mean, we've got a lot of fat burning workouts and things, but I think if you focus on building that muscle, the fat will take care of itself. So that's something we're gonna talk about in the new year. We've got some new nutrition and fitness plans uh, coming out that are gonna help with that, with building the muscle, burning out the fat, and getting that body that you want. Number five is, is KISS, right? Keep it simple, stupid. You know, diet and exercise. You know, there's tons of talk about, you know, carnivore diet, paleo diet, plant-based diet, vegan, um, low fat, high fat everything in between, but whatever, you have to find what works for you, and I'm happy to help, reach out to me, I'm happy to, to help you with that. There's no one workout plan or fitness plan or nutrition plan for everyone. You have to try and experiment, take things out, add things in and see what works, listen to your body and see what works for you. You know, find something that works for you on your diet, but again, don't be married to that, it's good to mix it up, your body likes variety. Maybe you go low carb for a few weeks or a, a week at a time, and then you mix it up and you go back to a balanced diet, then you go to more of a, a high carb diet, and you bounce, you do some fasting, you don't do some fasting. Balance it out. Keep your body guessing. And variety is, is key. But stick if you need to, if your if your life is crazy and you have to stick with one thing, just eat a simple, balanced, whole food diet. You know, again, I can help and give you some guidance on that. But stick with something simple. You don't have to cr try all these crazy different nutrition plans and every single week try something different or all these juicing protocols or whatever it may be. I'm not picking on anything. I'm just you know, throwing out examples off the top of my head. But find something that works for you and stick with it. Mix it up a little bit. But relax. You know, if you're eating clean and healthy 89% of the time. 10% of the time, feel free to go ahead and have that little piece of chocolate or to splurge a little bit. Don't Obviously, don't go overboard with it, but uh, a little bit here and there is okay. Same with exercise. Keep it simple. Focus on what I told you about, SPC. Keep it simple and progress. You know, We'll talk about progression in the next one, but just keep it simple. Stick with a basic workout and, and, and keep, you don't have to mix it up every couple weeks. Yeah, some people thrive on that and that's great, but find a simple routine and stick with it. Advance, progress. And then maybe every month or two, so mix it up. You don't have to mix and do something completely different every day or every other day. Just keep it simple, find something that works, and stick with it. Make progression. Leads me into number six, which is progression, right? Slow and steady wins the race. You know, if you're doing you know a whole body workout three days a week, two or three sets per body part, boom, done. You know, progress. Make even if it's just you know a pound every other week or every other workout or a, a pound of workout, pound every two workouts, whatever that may be. If you're making progress over the long term, that's what makes a difference. Yes, you can't keep progressing, adding weight, adding reps every single workout. You have to deload or take a week off or try a different exercise and then start building it back up again. Um, but in, in the end, you should be getting stronger, the weights and the reps should be going up, and you should see the changes in your body. So slow and steady progression, even if you have to take breaks or back things off periodically. Number seven is let's focus on health and inflammation. Um, Overall health is, is key, right? But all this comes into play. Nutrition, exercise, mindfulness, meditation, balancing our hormones, peptide treatments, uh, supplementation, different things. I always tell everyone these, all these things have to fit together, but let's focus on extending our health span, living longer, living better. Um, don't want to be focused on just slamming the gym every day and then, you know, like the bodybuilders back in the day when they they look amazing, but they're just a mess on the inside. Their guts are torn up, their, their bones are bad, their, uh, their menstrual cycles and their hormones are out of whack. So you want everything balanced. You want to focus on overall health living longer, better, and everything else will fall into place. Again, it's all about the balance. We can have all these things, uh, but we want to have good health first. And part of that is inflammation. Again, this goes into stress, but keeping that inflammation lower. And again, these, there are many strategies we can be done whether with nutrition, with healing the gut, 
a gut healing protocol and I do a lot of gut tests on, on myself and my and other patients. Uh, I've done had amazing gut healing protocols with the peptides and hormone optimization and nutrition plans and things of this nature. But lowering overall total body inflammation is going to help you live longer, live better, live stronger. And the last one is just have fun, guys. Remember, this isn't this doesn't have to be homework. You know, it should be fun. Every day you should be enjoying. You want to go to the gym. You want to make your meals. Think of food as fueling your body. Your exercise is making your butt self stronger. It shouldn't be a chore. Have fun with it. Mix it up. Do something fun. Go for a hike. You know, go for a swim. Do a hot yoga class. Um, you know, do pole dancing. I don't care. Do something fun to make mix it up a little bit. But enjoy life. Enjoy your workouts. Enjoy your nutrition. All this should be fun, guys. This is about living our lives, living longer, better. That's what I'm all about. Promoting and uh, promoting and talking about how to improve our health and fitness on the cellular level. The relentless pursuit of, vit of vitality. That's what I'm all after. So please reach out to me with any questions. Ask me anything you want. Happy to help. And everyone have a great 2020. And we'll talk to you soon.